Hey guys, today we'll explain how to bleed a formula mineral oil brake system. First of all, make sure you have all the necessary tools to perform the bleeding operation. The formula bleed kit, which includes the pad spacer, a number 10 Torx wrench, three hexagon wrenches of three, four, and five millimeter respectively, a flathead screwdriver, and a paper towel for cleanup. When bleeding the brake system, we always recommend the use of disposable latex gloves, as well as the use of transparent eye protection. At this point, you can proceed to open the bottle of formula mineral oil. Remember that our mineral oil brakes are compatible exclusively with the original formula mineral oil. Both syringes of the bleed kit will be filled with 15 cc's of formula mineral oil. Once both syringes have been filled, place them on the workbench ready to be used. From here, using a flat tip screwdriver, remove the safety circlip, which is located on the back of the brake pad pin. Now, you can unscrew the pin and remove the pads themselves from the caliper body, including the spring. Store the pads safely on the workbench. Now you can remove the screws that hold the brake caliper to the frame or to the adapter screw to the frame. Once this operation has been completed, reinsert the brake pad pin on the body of the caliper. You can now insert the pad spacer onto the pad pin. The pad spacer is included in the bleed kit. Now using a Torx wrench and a paper towel for protecting the caliper from any oil leakage, you can proceed to removing the screw on the bleed port of the brake caliper. Once this is done, using the appropriate connector, screw one of the two syringes onto the bleed port. Make sure the syringe connector is screwed on properly and avoid applying excessive force. Now, switch to the master cylinder on the handlebar. The first step is to rotate the master cylinder slightly in such a way that the oil reservoir is oriented upward. Now, like before with the caliper, you can remove the bleed port screw using the Torx wrench. Then, attach the second syringe onto the bleed port using the appropriate connector. Again, make sure that the connector is screwed on properly and avoid applying excessive force. Now you are ready to begin the actual brake bleeding process. First of all, push the syringe plunger connected to the caliper and supply oil into the component. At this point, the plunger on the syringe connected to the brake pump will move upwards. This operation ensures the oil is correctly distributed inside the brake system. From here, firmly grip the syringe plunger so that it cannot move up or down. Once this is done, you can proceed with the air bleeding operation of the caliper. Without using excessive force, pull up on the syringe plunger attached to the caliper repeatedly. This operation will allow you to extract all the residual air present in the caliper area. At this point, place the caliper and the syringe in such a way that they are held still. Then hold up the syringe attached to the master cylinder and pump the brake lever repeatedly while introducing oil into the system. Doing this will cause the plunger of the syringe placed on the caliper to move upwards. This operation allows you to have the ideal amount of oil in the system in order to ensure maximum performance and to obtain optimal feel. From here, you can remove the syringe from the caliper. Once this is done, Attach the screw on the bleed port again using the Torx wrench. Once the screw on the bleeding port has been tightened, clean it with a paper towel to make sure there is no residual oil on the outside. Check again that the feeling at the master cylinder is correct by squeezing the lever a couple of times. If necessary, introduce a little more oil into the system until the optimal feeling is achieved. At this point, remove the syringe, Attach the screw back onto the bleed port using the Torx wrench and make sure there is no residual oil on the master cylinder by wiping the surface with a paper towel. 
and now you can place the master cylinder back into its original position. Now you can remove the spacer from the caliper, remove the pad pin, and reinsert the pads and secure them with the appropriate pin. Once the pad pin has been attached, complete the operation by reinserting the safety circlip on the opposite side of the pin. If necessary, you can use a flat tip screwdriver to make the operation easier. Now place the caliper in its original position and insert the two screws that secure it to the adapter or frame. Here, it is very important to not tighten the screws all the way, leaving the caliper free to move. This is necessary in order to obtain a perfect centering of the caliper relative to the rotor. Now, squeeze the brake lever on the handlebar and hold your position while you tighten the caliper screws. In this way, you can ensure an optimal rotor to caliper orientation. To make sure the operation has been carried out correctly, release the brake lever and allow the wheel to move freely. If the clamp is centered correctly, the pads will not rub on the rotor and the wheel will move freely without producing unwanted noise. At this point, your brakes have properly been bled and are functioning perfectly. Thanks a lot for watching and have fun riding.